Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you? Welcome back, welcome back. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Suffering because my Wi-Fi doesn't work since yesterday. Oh, really? Why? What happened? I don't know. I, I think that the the cable the cable uh it's collapsed or something like that. But because my internet and my phone doesn't work, so oh yeah okay so okay don't work okay okay so. I'm connected with my own networks. I think I don't know how to say that. Uh, you could data. say uh, I'm connected with my data. Yeah, that's right. I'm connected mm -hmm. with my data. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I hope that that it, that didn't finish. <laughs> Please. That's thing. okay. That's okay. That's, that's okay. I, I understand. I understand completely. All right. Uh, thank you, uh, Blanca. And David, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Hey, I like that shirt. Cool shirt. <laughs> Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. I like it. I like thank it. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Andres Giovanni, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. How was your day today? It was okay. What did you do today? Uh, the same routine, only working. Where do you work? I work for Alcaldia Cipala. Oh, really? And what do you do there? I work in civil, civil registration. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Nice. I, How long have you been working there? I have uh, almost 19 years. 19 years wow that's a long time 19 yeah. years is a long time okay do you like it of course <laughs> yes i like it. well i imagine if you've been working in a place for 19 years that's a long time uh can you tell me a little bit about your daily routine as far as what you do when you arrive to work uh, uh my daily routine the first thing that i have to do is check my attendance in my job in a biometrical clock and then i have to get ready with all my equipment and then i have to start to give a customer service mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay that's nice very good Thank you, Andres. Uh, hello, Jocelyn, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Hey, good evening, how, well. are, how are you today? I'm pretty well, thank you. How do you feel? Well, kind of tired, to be honest, but really? we are why, doing it. Yes. Really, why are you tired? Um, today is my Monday. I started working and I work the whole day. Then I should prepare my dinner. At the end of my shift, mm -hmm. I should do my daughter's homework mm -hmm. with her, of course. Do we say I should or do I say I have to? Uh, I guess both are correct because it's kind of obligation that I should do, even I don't want to. Uh huh. So in this case, you don't say I should, right? You say I have to. I have to cook dinner. I have to help my daughter with her homework should is used more when you want to express an advice for example uh, imagine that i hear somebody's voice like very congested like talking like hi teacher how are you oh i'm so sick right if i hear a student like that i say hey you should go to sleep or you should drink medicine right so what am i doing i'm giving you like an advice but in your case you're expressing your obligation 
right? You have to cook dinner. That's your obligation. You have to do or help your daughter with her homework. That's an obligation, right? So in this case, it's it's not. It doesn't really fit. Uh, if we say I should cook dinner, right? I should help my daughter. That's not something that you should do. This is something that you have to do. It's okay. a little, uh -huh, it's a little different. It's a little different. Do you understand okay. the idea? Yes, I got it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, I see that uh, the majority is connected. So I would like for us to go ahead and get started, move forward. Uh, Doris, can you tell me a little bit about what you remember from yesterday's class? What did we talk about yesterday? Uh, yesterday about uh, uh, training for employees in companies. Correct, correct. Very good. We had presentations from different participants. Uh, yes. Today, we are going to also continue with the part presentations, uh, but we're going to let the other students uh, join the class. Right now, I would like for us to analyze this information over here. Uh, this is coming from the student book. Uh, the article is referring to this one right here. What happened? Oh, it kicked me out. What happened? Here it is. How to do, conduct the simple training needs assessments in seven steps. So in yesterday's class, we analyzed this article. Do you remember? We yes, read all we read all the way to this part, take the time to schedule another session to brainstorm needed. Uh, we finished all of this technology like a dry eraser. Uh, we looked at important additional tips about training. Uh, we did not finish this section. So I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. Do you guys have any questions related to this article that we were looking at yesterday? Okay, so today we're gonna look at four steps to conduct structured needs assessment, which is going to be coming from the student book. We're gonna look at the student book and we are going to look at this link over here. We're going to click on the link and look at the guides. These are basically just guides. Oh, I thought it was open. Okay, I guess this website is, you have to become a member, um, but we're not gonna do all that. That's it's not necessary. We're going to look at a training needs analysis template. Wow. We need to update this book. This one says it is it is outdated skilled careers. What is the meaning of the word skilled careers? Who can tell me what is the meaning of skilled careers? Something like a, a profession that you have uh, many abilities. Can you give me an example of a skilled career? Maybe a, an electrician, maybe a an, uh, software engineer. Okay. Uh, skilled careers uh, are basically like, for example, when a person is an engineer, that is a, a career. But if the person is, for example, a programmer, do you know what is a programmer, like a robotics programmer? Yes. So that's a special skill. 
or for example, uh, somebody that knows uh, how a surgeon to... teacher. I'm sorry. A surgeon. A soldier. Medical. A medical soul. Oh, yes, all of those are considered uh, skilled careers because a lot of people are not going into skilled careers and those are what we need. Uh, what we're gonna do is look at Elon Musk's early morning tweet since Twitter shares crashing, but he ends the day billions of dollars richer. So this right here uh, is an article that we see. Uh, this is something recent. This was updated May 13th. Uh, three days ago, and it's referring to how Elon Musk is changing social media. So I would like for you guys to go over the article, read the article, discuss your opinions, and then we will read it together. You are going to go to the student book, and you're going to go to the section right here. And you're going to click on this article. What page, teacher? Uh, that would be page number 18. Page okay. number 18 in the student book. Are you ready? Yes, a question, teacher. <laughs> yes, David. How do you say the name of that guy, Elon Musk? Elon Musk. Elon e Musk. Elon Musk is correct. Okay. Yeah. Thank Another. You. Thank you. Another question. Does anybody have another question from this section? Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And then we will go over it as a class. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, let me have David Samuel. And we're going to put David Samuel over here. Give me one second. I got to put David in the same group. And we're going to put Jessica on five. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. So. Yo sí. Sí. Do you have the link? ¿De qué? El link. No se te escucha, no es yo no te escucho, fíjate. Okay. El link está I share the link in the chat. Okay, thanks. I will share this. Ah, yes, aquí. Gracias, Francisco. Bueno. Vamos a ver. Debe de hacer eso, andate para allá. Hello, Mark says Twitter deal cannot move forward until CEO proves fake accounts. 
numbers. I'm going to find it first. I can't find it. I don't know why. But sorry, I'm on the phone call. <clears throat> you have to. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> I'm searching. I don't know. Can you share the screen because I can find the way to share. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, okay. Not found. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can't find it. Uh, I think the, he he opens the the first article that she is what Alan Moss is is the it is the first article after the the banner. It's in the banner. No. Below. Okay. Why Elon Musk is already 29 billion poorer because he is buying Twitter. Maybe I think that is the article. I, I don't know. The article, uh, it says something about that. That the Twitter comes down shut down something like that and at the end of the day uh, Elon Musk he was billionaire something like that I don't remember I'm going to search search I am I am I will share <laughs> I already I, uh, I, 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 already I, I don't know this it is the, the article search. I think okay. I, I remember I saw Elon Musk uh, I think that is it this this is the record. That mm. is correct. That is correct. That is really. I don't remember. Okay, we can break. Wait. Even my phone is collapsed because <laughs> I only see in at this moment. I shared the link in the WhatsApp chat and in the chat of Zoom. Okay, thank you. Almost early morning, he sent Twitter shares crashing, but he ends the day billions of dollar richer. I can't see your screen.
Okay, if you want, I'm going to start to, to read about the article. I shared the, that is the incorrect article. The correct yeah, article, I, I shared the link in the WhatsApp chat, and I shared... I oh, there it is, there it is. That's oh, okay. the correct one. Ellen Musk, this is the correct one. Yeah, okay, I'm going to read. Elon Musk early morning tweet sends Twitter shares crashing, but he ends the day billions of dollars richer. It was a rocky week for Tesla shares until Musk early Friday tweet that helped the electric vehicle, vehicle? A maker regain some lost ground. With a single tweet at 5.44 a.m. Friday, Tesla and SpaceX hit Elon Musk simultaneously placed his, oh, sorry, simultaneously placed his 44 billion Twitter take over on haul and demonstrate the platform forward to move markets. Twitter shares which plan, I don't know how to write, read that. Launch, 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 I don't know. In market, in pre-market trading early Friday. And the day down 9.7%. Why source of most electric vehicle maker relate? Hello, Fatima. Welcome. 5.7%. Friday to lose on otherwise challenging. Week Hello, down. Marlin. Welcome. I'm sorry, sir, because I was um, coming from my job. That's okay. You can incorporate with Fernando, Blanca, and Fatima. Okay. Okay. What, uh, okay. If you want to can read
Fatima, do you want to read? Uh, okay, which paragraph? The second one. Okay, mm. let me see. The divergent. The divergent fortunes of Twitter and Tesla shareholders are no surprise to Columbia University law professor John C. Coffey an expert on corporate governance. The two stocks are logically inversely related since what is good for Twitter is bad for Tesla. He says, if it looks like Musk may call the Twitter the love, Twitter stock could fall like a stone as the deal price is all that is supporting it, supporting it today. I will I will read it. Okay. The third paragraph. On the other hand, there's like the shareholders' concerns about the destruction that the Twitter that acquisition poses for their CEO had lar largely <coughs> driven the 28.8% drop in Tesla stocks price from April. Sorry. April 13, the day before Musk announced his takeover plans through Thursday, uh, COVID-related production issues in China have also weighed on the stock as have government pro proofs into Musk's late disclosure of his Twitter stake and a judge pre-trial ruling in an investor lawsuit that must act rigorously when he tweet plans to, to take Tesla private in 2018. According to Wetbush analyst Dan Ives, who covers Tesla, the partial rebound of the electric vehicle by call makers shares Friday reflects investor sentiment that the deal is now less likely to happen. Despite a follow-up tweet by Musk two hours later, Friday morning that he is a still commit commitment to acquisition. Fernando, no, Marlon, are you there? <laughs> Sorry, Fernando. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm here, but I have problems with my connection. Um, what are you now? The street is viewing? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the street is giving this like a boy that cries wolf with mask <clears throat> save. I it's now likely that the deal happens lower or he walks and pay one billion. The street feels like um, 54 uh, and 20 dollars is off of the table at this point. A uh, mask, uh, 44 billion takes over is based on a price of uh, 50, uh, 
four dollars with twenty per shirt. Though Twitter, short seller Hindenburg Research say in one note released Monday that is uh, that it sees a significant risk that deal gets. <coughs> I'm sorry, replies lower due to declining values of the of tech companies in musk made his initial offer uh, the tech heavy nasdaq is down 13.5 uh, percent since april 13 even after rallying a 3.8 percent friday friday if max if musk were to walk away from the deal, he will have to pay a one billion breakup fee. I uh, know someone is going to continue. Or do we have to do something else, Claudia? Um, I. Mm -hmm. I think that we can continue. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my my phone is. To a slow. <laughs> While Musk hit concerns in his Twitter, I don't know. Pele? Pele, call it. That's the, the sentence that we have to write. Wait, sorry. Hello. That is the, the center. Holland College, John Coffee State Moss, who decided that he is paying much, too much for Twitter, possibly 10 billion too much. And decided to cut his love, love at 1 billion. Why some have art that most can simply pay. One billion to walk away without certain conditions. Being met, one of those conditions is likely fair party financing concern. And while Musk has lined up 7.1 billion from a group of lead investors, he is reportedly seeking additional equity and preferred. The stock financing to to replace a uh, six point twenty five billion margin loan. <laughs> Sorry, you lost me. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, margin loan secured by his Tesla stock. Stock, even if he were to secure that financing. It's unclear where most of the additional seven, no, 27.3 billion equity commitment. He made the Twitter, sorry, he made the Twitter board will come from. Board estimate must has about 8 billion of cash on hand after selling more than 8 billion of Tesla shares last month to test. And planning, planning, planning to sell no more. Given treated, blame, and Can anybody wait the next?
Given Twitter's limited free cash flows, it's likely that Musk's, Musk's bankers were already pushed to their limits when they offered him uh, 13 billion of debt to be partly secured by Twitter itself. And with Musk having indicated that he's no longer interested inter inter ah. interested in playing his Tesla shares to secure additional debt financing, he's already pledged more than half his Tesla stake as collateral for loans for acquisition. It's likely that the rest of, the, of his equity, equity commitment will have to come from outside investors. According to Colombia's John Coffey, some of the equity, equity investors could get cold feet, particular, particularly if they have lost a lot on their crypto investments. Despite Friday rebound, Musk is still uh, 60 billion poorer than he was on April 13, the day before he announced his Twitter takeover plans. Perhaps he will continue to regain ground in the coming weeks if Tesla's shareholders become increasingly, increasingly convinced that Musk won't take off their CEO, CEO job, but it is, it's likely investor will have trouble completely rolling out the possibility. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished, teacher. Okay. So now what you're going to do is I want you to go to the platform and we're going to go to section number seven where it says, no, not this one. Sorry. We're going to go to section number eight. And we're going to look at video conference number eight, identifying training needs in my department. So what we're going to do here in the discussion forum here at the bottom in this section, what I would like for you to do is express your personal opinion about this article, how Elon Musk, or what is your opinion about privatizing Twitter? Because as we know, Twitter used to be uh, a public platform, but now it's public, is privately owned but it's going to go public. So I want you to uh, write a short article, uh, a short paragraph expressing your opinion about that. For example, I completely support and agree. This is my personal opinion uh, with Elon Musk to allow for people to express their ideas freely and clearly and not to be censored. I completely support the fact that he's giving freedom of speech to the people. I don't agree with censorship or shutting people down for expressing their ideas. Everybody must have an opportunity 
to share how they feel about what's going on in the world. For example, if I don't agree with a political decision, I need to be able to express that because that's the freedom of speech. And I need to defend my rights and not be oppressed and be depressed by the big social uh, techies of the world, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, etc. You're going to write your opinion here, and then you will share your ideas with the class. Do you understand? Now, if you're working with a partner, you can Teacher, write. Yes, David. Can you share the link because we are right to another article? Yes, I shared the can link. Can you share the, the link? I, I shared. The... Yes, I shared the link in the uh, WhatsApp chat. And I can you put it in the in the chat of Zoom? Yes, I put it right here. Let me share it again. Let me see right here. Ready and go. Check that one out. Okay. Check Thank it out. You. Okay. Yes. Does anybody have a question right now about this activity? Who can tell me what are we going to do right now? Who can tell me? Edwin. Uh, okay, David. Okay, sorry. The guy, the guy. Okay, the board is to go to the platform. To the You're going to go to the platform, section 2.3, video section A. A, a personal comment about the uh, article, about what is our our perception uh, uh, about what is happening with Twitter. Correct. Uh, and how Elon Musk is being attacked by government officials, high powered politicians, because he is going to permit freedom of speech. He is not going to censor people. Do you remember when Twitter eliminated Donald Trump? Yes, yes. That was crazy. How are you going yes. to eliminate somebody like Donald Trump? That doesn't make sense, right? So that's what you're going to do. You're going to express what is your opinion about what he is doing with Twitter, you know, because Twitter used to be controlled by a, by a bunch of men that were basically in the pockets of the politicians. If the politicians didn't agree with a, an agenda or with a social movement, they, they wouldn't allow people to express their ideas like Donald Trump. Okay. Ready? Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions at this moment? Questions? No, it's clear. Okay, let me go ahead and we're going to change partners. Uh, for this activity, guys, you can write the, the same thing as your partner. All right. Also, uh, you can share your screens now.
It is what it is. It is what is going to. We're going to. To watch. You can, you can share the screen. Yes. Rolling, rolling. Let me check. Knocking the bandage off. Okay. Rolling some more. Hello, Telma. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh, How are you today, Tulma? Already, I'm confused <laughs> with the article. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Because it's a uh, uh, strategic that uh, Mr. Musk. Yes. For, uh, how to use the the platform and in a moment lost million in another moment and earns more billion dollars do you understand mm -hmm. this article a little bit the article <laughs> have a lot of difficult words so <laughs> Yes, I, I think, uh, but I got the, the, the main idea. Uh, but it, it is a little bit confused with that. Yes, it's, it's confused. Uh, I don't know. Mr. Elon Musk. Uh, share how the um <laughs> no no realmente no lo entiendo. Dice que terminó con una caída. Um, let's not focus too much on the financial aspect. Um, basically, all you have to do is express your opinion, your 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 ideas about 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 the strategy that the that the Mr. Musk. That is correct because uh, he he is receiving a lot of criticism. He is receiving a lot of attacks uh, from a lot of powerful people that don't want the members to be able to express their personal opinions. Um, so basically what I would like for you to do is, you know, just express your ideas. How does that make you feel? I'm going to, I'm going to tell you my person, what happened to me. Uh, I had a YouTube channel and my YouTube channel was closed. It was basically closed. Uh, YouTube shut me down. Uh, when I wrote YouTube, what happened, uh, they expressed to me that I was uh, uploading violent content. And what I was doing was giving conversation classes to people that want conversation classes. And in one of the classes, one of the conversation topics was COVID. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah. Yes, yes, so, yes. so basically, YouTube shut down my channel because one of my students was expressing his ideas in regards to the COVID pandemic. Mm-hmm. So basically, what this is telling me is that these social platforms, uh, YouTube, 
a Twitter, Facebook, all these social platforms are being controlled by people in power that don't want the normal people like us to express openly your opinions, your ideas, your feelings. They basically want you to be quiet, shut up. They don't want you to express how you feel. They don't want you to give an opinion. They want you to be like a little robot. Okay. We will try. <laughs> okay. That's the idea. I mean, uh, I know that there's a lot of complicated vocabulary. It is Forbes magazine. It is a business magazine. <laughs> Uh, so don't focus too much on that, right? That, that is not the idea of this activity. Um, all I want you to do is basically tell me, how does that make you feel that Elon Musk is actually giving the people the opportunity? The more intelligent, intelligent because it's a strategy, a strategy that how to invest in not only in Tesla, but also in, in Twitter, and how to, how to earn more billion dollars in, in a moment. <laughs> I think he, he but tried only to, Twitter. <laughs> yes, I think he, he only tried to, to call the attention because for me, in my personal opinion, I think Twitter is not a popular network here in El Salvador, right? Because I, I never use it. I think the, the old people that I know, uh, maybe two or three use, use Twitter. I don't know if you use it. Mm. Do you have Twitter? No, no. no and I you, don't Fernando, like do you have Twitter? <laughs> Uh, yes, I have, maybe. but uh, I am, I'm not a person that shares uh, every day on social media. I have accounts only for viewing posts or maybe be up, be up to date with the news or, or so fun videos. That is the reason, <laughs> but I, 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 don't, I don't like to yes, share. But but personal before. information or photos or something like that. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yeah, because for example, if I want to watch a phone video, I use Facebook or right now the most popular TikTok, right? But Twitter, I, I never, <laughs> never yes. use it. Twitter is, is good for, for be up to date with the news. Really? Yes. Uh, for example, yes. Uh, when a, a, a huge news appears, uh, you can go to Twitter and it is a trending topic, and you can watch all the comments or posts related to the to oh, the news. Yeah. And if it is videos on, on there or photos, you can so quickly the photos and videos of the news uh, in a, in a it's a chain of results you mm -hmm. you are you you can watch and inside the the post you can see the comment you can see the video you can see the, the photos quickly uh, yeah. Yeah. and and Twitter <laughs> is like instagram you follow the people uh, mm. no. instagram, instagram the, is the, only photos the, so. the, the core of instagram uh, is to share multi multimedia uh, mm multimedia content but in twitter you you have you have to to join for example you have a photo you you add a post Comment only with yeah. a limit of, of characters in the post yeah oh really yes yes okay i'm interesting but how to make uh the Elon Musk uh, earning a lot, a lot of dollar with only Twitter, Twitter. 
the sponsor. I, I don't believe it. <laughs> it's the power, the platform. <laughs> oh, hello, Freddy. Hello. Actually, they why you are so to... quiet today? I'm sick right now. Really? Yeah. Oh. I guess. Actually, the um the plat the platforms or like Twitter, Facebook, and all of those they make money with the sponsors. Mm hmm. <laughs> You know that um, where uh, in the last group I was with Janetti and we and we wrote and we read the uh, the wrong article. It was the same as um as as this this guy um what's his name? Uh? Elon Musk. Yeah, Elon, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. It was a, it, it was it was everything about him, but it was the wrong article. Oh yes, yes. He was talking about how he was um about to buy um Twitter, but there was a lot of pay accounts, so he put um uh I think uh, some pers some persons to start working to find out and what was the percentage of of fake account that there was on Twitter and and if it was trustable in order to buy it. I think that was like uh, his marketing strategy in order to get it cheaper. Yes, I think the same. Just totally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they said that Twitter um, had blocked um, Donald Trump. And this guy unblock it. Mm -hmm. Now that the elections are coming. Okay. Just, just okay, like this. Time is over, Thelma. <laughs> we have to come back. All right. Did everybody finish? Did you get an opportunity to write your opinion in the platform? No, teacher. Do you need more time? Yes. Okay. I will give you more time. I know that you guys are not finished. That's okay. I'm going to give you more time. I just want to make sure that you guys are still working. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this activity? What is the objective of this activity? Who can tell me what is the objective of this activity? I think it's the understand the article. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what does mean the in, in the article? Mm, in, Fernando, in, Fernando, what do you think is the objective of this activity? Uh, maybe uh, learn new new words. On, for example, in the article, uh, there are many words, uh, complex words. Okay, very good. Um, maybe keep a, a, an opinion uh, analysis very good read in, compre in comprehension of the article that's right basically express your opinion about how elon musk is changing the policy of freedom of speech because I don't know if you remember, guys, but Twitter 
was eliminating or blocking uh, the accounts of people that were not in line with the agenda. If you did not align with the agenda, they block you. So it's like controlling people. David, what is the objective of this activity? Yes, the same. I, I finished my my work. I can share it. Do you want to see? Okay, okay. Let's hear uh, David's opinion. David, please share with the class your opinion. Okay, let me share my screen. Uh, I write in, in a document and then put in the platform. Okay, excellent. I like that. Okay, this is the personal opinion about Twitter change rules. Mm -hmm. Twitter changing rules. Mm -hmm. According to some words of Elon Musk, he's interested in providing freedom in the use of Twitter. Until now, the use of Twitter was regulated mostly by the powerful governments in the world. For that reason, some Twitter account, accounts were canceled in the past, arguing that the bad use of the platform, but actually this, that situation is that whatever opinion against important government or politician was censored by Twitter. Perfect. Elon Musk is looking for all the people to share their thoughts and opinions without worries and without the fear that their accounts can be canceled. Thank In you. my opinion, one of the biggest conquerors of the actual societies is the majority of the country's freedom and whatever that guarantee freedom is worthy of be support. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. David, applause for David. Thank you, applause teacher. Applause for David. Thank you, David. Okay, guys, that's exactly what I want. I want you to basically express your opinion about how people are now with that Elon Musk is the owner of Twitter have the freedom to express their personal opinion. I don't know if you remember guys, but Twitter blocked Donald Trump. I don't know if you remember. Yes. Okay, so Donald Trump is a very, very powerful person, but there are more people that are more powerful. Right? Thank you, David. Uh, does anybody have a question about what we are doing with this activity? Okay. Uh, who can tell me where are you going to write your opinion? Where are you going to write your opinion? Can somebody tell me? <coughs> Nobody? I, I can share the... the, the the screen teacher to see the where in the platform okay. I put the, the opinion. Okay. In this part, 2.3, in the bottom of the page. Correct. Exactly. Uh, you put the title mm -hmm. and then the article. Correct. And then you click send. Excellent. Excellent. That's exactly what you're going to do, guys. We're going to write it in this section and you're going to put it in the discussion forum. Thank you, David. Okay. Any questions, guys? Okay, let's continue. Remember, you can write the same information as your partner in your group. You can write the same information as your partner in the group. You can share your screen as well.
one student can share the screen. Okay, guys, what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea that everyone can give your freedom opinion about everything? Sancudo. If you got any questions, guys, you can ask me. Jarvin, do you have a question? No, teacher. Uh, I just want to, to know 
Oh, what is your opinion about, for example, if you are totally freedom to write wherever you want, uh, for example, some person can use a, a bad words or some message that can be a little bit violent. Mm. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think you, oh, you almost have to improve the language regulation, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But okay. if you have a, a, a language regulation, mm -hmm. it's not a freedom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as people don't feel, I mean, everybody in every area, there's always going to be somebody, no, no matter what you say, and no matter what you do, you're always going to find one person that's going to feel offended. Yes, of course. That's, this is the risk why that's normal. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe if they have people that that's their job is to be reading uh, the comments, reading the messages, uh, and maybe filtering out uh, this vocabulary, it makes sense. Because remember that you have teenagers, uh, you have mothers, fathers, grandfathers, grandmothers that are on this platform. So you have really everybody. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense to at least regulate the vocabulary. In, that makes sense. But in this way, we can call it a, a freedom of expression? You can call it a freedom of speech uh, if you are expressing your idea without vulgar language. Yes, but I think always we're going to have a person that are agree and mm -hmm. another person that don't be agree with you. Yeah. Well, that's the reality of life. Every, yes. And of in, in, any, in any situation, uh, there's always going to be one person in everything that's going to disagree. Uh, they feel offended. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. They don't like your voice. They don't like the way you look, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that they regulate uh, the vocabulary as long as the idea is not censored. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, because if the idea is not censored, then it's freedom of speech, right? Because you are expressing your idea. If you agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. But you are you have the opportunity to express your idea. Yes, but uh, it's like you says, for example, uh, this is in an international network, right? Correct. So for, for someone, some words are bad and for someone, some words are good. Yeah, correct. So correct. how we wanted to handle that? Well, um, I, th I think that as long as people don't you know like you said use bad words mm -hmm. i think that it shouldn't be a problem you know if they have a, an algorithm that detects bad words mm -hmm. you know, it's not necessary to use bad words uh, to express your ideas for someone it's necessary <laughs> yeah some people speak that way that's normal yeah. But, you know, everybody has to have a limit. Uh, but uh, before, well, still, I think, uh, whenever the COVID situation was going on, a lot of YouTubers were getting canceled, were getting blocked by YouTube because they were expressing their opinions. And they were not expressing their opinions in a bad way. They were just basically saying that they were not happy. They felt angry because the government uh, in the United States was not taking care of their people, you know, things like that. You even had doctors, professional doctors that were saying, uh, you know, there's something going on right here. Something is not normal. What happened to those doctors? They got fired. 
and their YouTube channel got blocked. I think this is the problem when you says a uh, freedom of speech mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you it, if you are a regular or you have rule for that mm -hmm. it's not a, a freedom of speech I think in my opinion right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I think this is the principal problem when he says I'm going to create a platform with freedom of speech yeah that it's a very thin line it's a very thin line you're right. I, I completely agree with you. Because what really defines freedom of speech, right? At the end of the day, what really yes. defines, maybe you want to motivate somebody and that person doesn't accept it. Now mm -hmm. the person is offended. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's a, it's a very, it's a very uh, delicate um, line of interpretation. Yes, of course. And I thought of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But in my case, as long as people don't use bad words, uh, you know, be vulgar or be violent, uh, as long as you express your ideas in a correct way, in a respectful manner, I think that that's okay. I even if I agree or disagree, as long as the person can defend their opinion in the right way, uh, to me, that's freedom of speech. But if the person is uh, saying bad words, uh, offending the other people, that's not freedom of speech. That's a violent act. Yes, because, for example, some minutes ago, I was talking that I never used Twitter. <laughs> me but neither. I and so I, I have some friends that they use it. Mm -hmm. And for example, one friend was talking about that he write his opinion uh -huh. about some, some topic about politics here in uh -huh. Salvador. Uh -huh. And he, he account was blocked. I don't know who say blocked. 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 Yeah. Was blocked yeah. for, I think, one month mm -hmm. because he, he, he gave his opinion about some public topic here That's in Salvador. Yeah, yeah. So he, the... he, and he says, I don't use uh, bad words. I don't offense the another person. I just give my opinion and I, I am not agree with, with them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the problem. That's yeah. the problem. For example, Donald Trump. I have never heard Donald Trump say bad words. No, he didn't. He only yeah. expresses yeah. his mind. Yes. And that's it. And they blocked him. They yes. blocked him. So, you know, I, I, I don't think that that's correct. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. we're going to stop right here because I got to take the attendance. Okay. If you're not finished, that's going to be your homework. Okay. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Let's continue. Okay, let me listen to uh, Jarvin, since you and I have been discussing the topic. Uh, let's, let's listen to your opinion, uh, Jarvin, and I will help you out. Okay, we were talking about the, the freedom of speech and the, in the room. For example, in my opinion, if Elon Musk wants to get the freedom of expression to all people, he has to improve the language regulation, since bad, op bad opinions can call for a violent action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is that I have right now. Okay, give me a second. I thought I had closed all the rooms. Close all rooms. Give me one second. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you, Jarvin. Uh, select somebody for me, please. Okay, Fatima. Fatima, Fatima. Can you share with us, please, your opinion about this topic? Okay, uh, just give me one moment. I'm looking for the charger of my computer. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, Elon Musk has demonstrated that he has the ability to surprise and impersonate to everybody with things that are hard to uh, accomplish. And that's why uh, many people support him. And in a space with, where every single person can express an opinion without any fear to be blocked or censored, it is important, but it can also be complicated to leave people with bad or dangerous ideas to express and be heard by and other people with similar thoughts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Besides that, a Twitter as any other social network a, make money by advertising. So the idea of a place a, where everybody can say whatever they want, mm -hmm. it could not be attractive to a lot of companies that want to be advertised. That's right, because they have their own agenda. Exactly. And, and maybe if other people are not on board with the agenda, they don't like it. Exactly. Yeah, okay, excellent. Thank you, Fatima, for your opinion. Fatima, select somebody, please. Uh, 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 Andres. Andres Giovanni. Yes. Uh, I think that Hello Musk uh, wants freedom in this, this social media because as you said, there's too much restrictions. Too much or too many? Too many, sorry, mm -hmm. thanks. Too many uh -huh. restrictions. Uh -huh. and, so, and I think that it would be a, a better social media if Elon Musk buys Twitter. So you agree that it's better for freedom of speech? Yes. I, excellent, I excellent, excellent. All right, uh, I know that this is a very interesting topic because we all, we all want to express our ideas, right? We don't want to be like little robots or only go with the flow because we have feelings, we have imagination, we have opinions and it's important that everybody has the freedom and liberty to share those ideas. Uh, Francisco Amadeo, raised your hand. Hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Uh, are you agree that the Elon Musk uh, eliminate the extinction in Twitter? No, 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 not at all, not at all. Um, okay. I, I disagree with that. Uh, I was sharing with uh, the group, I think it was Jarvin, I was talking with Jarvin, that in my experience, I have been blocked by YouTube. I have been blocked by yeah. Facebook uh, in my... In my personal life, uh, in my professional life, because I have a U I had a YouTube channel, and I had a website, and I had a, a Facebook page, uh, it, where I shared content, but the content wasn't according to the agenda. So what happened? They shut me down, which is okay. It's okay, right? Yeah. 
But in some cases, it's good because maybe in the case that the Donald Trump is a big influencer. Yeah, that's a yeah. Donald mm -hmm. Trump has the power, a yes. lot of power. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, Francisco. Uh, right now, guys, we're gonna take the attendance. I would like for you to please say present, and uh, then we will move forward. Axel Gabriel. Axel Gabriel. Is absent. Okay. Andres Giovanni present. present Blanca Stephanie present. I'm here. David Samuel. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth. Present. Erwin Lagos. Present teacher. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Francisco. Amadeo. Present teacher. Fredis Vladimir. Jarvin Isaac. Present teacher. Kenya. Present. Marilyn. Marilyn Yamlet. Absent. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Uh, Manuel de Jesus is absent or present? I think I heard somebody say present. No? No? Okay. Okay. Absent. Manuel de Jesus is absent. Uh, Merlin Stanley. Merlin. Okay. Thank you. Thelma. Present teacher. Thank you. William. William Alexander. William? Absent. Okay. Jessica. Jessica Cortez. Absent, okay. And Jocelyn. Present. Excellent, excellent. Okay. All right. At this moment, do you guys have any questions related to this activity? Something that somebody wants to share, express an opinion or anything like that? Somebody? Anybody? Okay. What we're going to do next is look at this activity. I'm going to share the link in the chat of Zoom. And I'm also going to share the link in the chat for the group. The topic of this article is Gretchen Rubin shares how to quit your worst work habits. 
that's going to be the topic of this activity. Did everybody receive, did everybody receive the, the link? Yes, teacher. Gretchen, Gretchen Rubin shares how to quit your worst work habits. This topic is related to working from home. Since everybody already knows, um, a lot of people changed the way that they work. You know, people normally now, they don't work in the office. They work from home. So we're going to read this article. Uh, this is coming from the Forbes magazine from the student book. And then we will go over it together. I am going to change your groups. Uh, let me see, David, 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 David. All right, we're gonna put David with Jessica. Give me one second, guys, please. Jessica is eight. And we're going to put Erwin with Andres and Doris, number seven. Okay. Michelle. Yes, Francisco. Uh, I don't know, but when I open the link in mm -hmm. the computer, this this is show the message that this day this say this page is only to available for former subscriptor subscribers yeah uh, let me see mm, no 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 not this one try try again okay I, have I, I got the same message. Really? Yeah. Let me see in a second. I got the correct article, teacher. Maybe the antivirus is blocking their their browser. Uh, let me see. Ah, okay. Opens the article, but but uh, then uh, go to the subscriber the subscribers tab okay give yes. me a second let me copy it like this and let me share it here it's because because the the for the space only gives you four readings and when, ah. and, when, and when you excel that uh, readings, uh, you need to get a, subscri a subscription. Okay, okay, probably. Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay. Probably we already filled out all of the subscriptions. Let me see if I can put it on a word sheet. Give me one second. This is a very interesting reading. And I imagine that there are a lot of people in this class that are working from home. Okay. Give me one second. I'm gonna see if I can put it on a Word document. Is anybody in this class working from home? I am. Okay. And do you prefer working from home or do you prefer uh, on site? What is what what is your preference? Working from home. Why? Because it has more advantage. Okay. Can you share with us some of your advantages? Well, I avoid the traffic. Mm, okay. How long does it normally take you to transport from home to the office normally? Like uh, half an hour. 
or no, an an hour. No, it, it it was almost two hours. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh wow! That's that's a long time. So you have to travel two hours to work and two hours back home. Yeah, sometimes it was less, but another days like Friday night, <laughs> uh, it was crazy. You take longer to get home. Yeah. Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. But that, that's only traffic uh i usually without too much traffic i only do an hour oh okay okay in bus in bus uh do we say in bus or do we say by bus by by, by bus. bus by bus uh-huh mm -hmm. okay i'm going to share the word document i copy and pasted the article on a Word document. I'm going to share it with you all. You can open it in the WhatsApp chat group let me see if i can put it in what, the, what is the message that they send you in the chat of zoom teacher let me see oh okay that's another one okay I, oh, okay i see it all right, let's read this one. I'm going to share both of them with the group. Guys, check if you can open this link that uh, David shared with us. I put it in the chat because I pulled it only for you. OK. There we go. And I'm going to see if I can share the document. Yes, you can share. Okay, so you have both. All right, ready, let's go. Hello. Hi. I'm going to share the screen. Okay. I was reading my cell phone because I don't know why I can open in the computer. Teacher, what is the meaning of the word box M? Of the word, which word? The uh, has been a godsend. Uh, what is the meaning? It has been adoption. Oh, adoption is uh, whenever you. Sorry, uh, the one that is in the first line. Working from home since the pandemic began has been a godsend. Ah. Como una bendición, right? Ah, okay, okay. You're reading from 
-hmm. from the beginning. Okay, it says Ruben believes most people fall into the framework she developed where they exhibit our four tendencies. Yeah, let me see. So some bad habits, productivity, never before witnesses spread motion by then across the globe remote. Can you share your screen? Uh, we, uh, actually we are. Sharing. I am sharing the screen. Okay, there it is. Working from home since the pandemic began has been a God send. Ah, okay. God meaning Dios and send meaning enviado por Dios. For example, for example, <laughs> I have a very, uh, a phrase that I say every morning. Uh, mm -hmm. I say, estas madrugadas no son de Dios. Right, I I always say that in the morning because I have to wake up at 5 a.m. Uh, so here, God send is like the opposite. Like God sent it for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, we can just read and if you wish, I can start, Fatima. Okay, go ahead. Okay, working from home since the pandemic began has been a godsend for many people. No community is more flexibility to load the dishwasher wheel on the conference calls. Real distraction from co-workers is stopping by two gossip announcements unless you count the kicks. But for others, it's next to new bad habits, spending too much time on social media, getting distracted by the past of laundry on the couch, sitting at your desk long after the work day should end. The accountability of the workplace for many people is invaluable. Invaluable. Great informing to viewers of Forbes, subscribers, it is conquering career tricks during a discussion about her book. Better than before, those who need external motivation and expectation of maintain their habits, she said, had to think about how do I replace that. You hear about people going on Zoom, you are on mute? I am on mute. We're just working under each other gaze because that provides accountability. For many people work, whether it's professional work or work around the house, it is one of the most dangerous forms of procrastination, she said. Even if you feel like you are getting something done, you are emptying your inbox or email or cleaning up the playroom wheel on a conference call, you are still procrastinating. Ruben said, it's what you really should be doing is working on the annual report. To help, she knows people who has set up separate laptops, one for work and one for home. Many rules they can sit on their bed to work to avoid napping or even hiding and remove from themselves. To avoid watching TV, the harder you have to work for something, the more light you are to feel like, oh, it is no work, it's right now. She said, breaking bad habits and developing good news is harder right now as people begin returning to the office, but often not in the same weekday routine they once had. That's going to make it more difficult to create new habits that pair effectively with war days, she said. One thing that we all need to flip with is that the durational five days to days pattern that we have all been raising the house for many people being week away. Ruben said, I think that's going to be very difficult because habits for most easily when behavior is very, very regular and predictable. Okay, uh, work is one of the most dangerous forms of procrastination. Robin believes most people fall into a framework she developed where they exhibit one of
Hello, guys. Okay, I'm going in there. Who is, who is going to start? Reading. That's the article that we have to read. Saying bad words from home habits ruining, ruining your productivity and have to fix them. Never before, sorry, never before we have witnessed such widespread adoption of remote work by millions of, of organizations across the globe. Remote work is is no more a temporary arrangement. This trend is here to stay and for long. Even business that were skeptical of allowing employees to work remotely before the novel coronavirus break habit. All main team, main team have had to embrace this change and ask the workforce to operate from home. Okay, maybe you can write me. Okay, for many employees, work from home has proved to be a welcome change. No more commuting, no more wastage of time getting stuck in traffic jams, and saving on transportation costs like bus, fares, fuel costs, etc. In other words, they are enjoying the flexibility that remote work has brought with it. They can create schedules and set the place of work according to their convenience. At the same time, there are others who are finding it difficult to adjust to this change. For them, the fine line between work and life has blurred and their productivity is nowhere close as it used to be. Let's see. Do you also feel your productivity level is on that all time low? Are you failing to meet deadlines constantly? Are you struggling to work efficiently while juggling domestic chores and responsibilities? If the answer to the aforementioned questions is a sound yes, you might be sabotaging your productivity without even knowing about it. The worst part is the people tend to overlook the impact of their daily habits on their life. On their life. They forgot that improvement and growth in personal and professional life are the results of good habits. When working from home, if you may develop, develop bad habits without realizing it, you need to identify and fix them before it's too late. Okay, go on. Uh, as the chief marketing officer of Proof Hub, I have done through research on the habits, but that can ruin the performance of remote employees. A couple of members from my team have also faced this problem, but we have been quick to detect the issues and nip them in the bud. Here are bad habits you need to eliminate to do a justice to your potential and your organization, but in your abilities. One, setting your day without a plan. All right, you are working from home. Ain't nobody is watching you. Your schedule is yours without direct supervision. Super, super, yeah, supervision. The chances are you are starting your day at work without any action plan, which is taking you nowhere in terms of results. It's like starting a trip without a map. Okay. You just do tasks remotely in a day and there is no purification. Purification. 
periodization <laughs> of tasks and goals in place. This can make it difficult for you to meet deadlines and keep track to, of to those because you don't have a scheduling calendar to follow. Here's how you can solve this. Use an all-in-one project management software like Proof Hub to organize your events, tasks, and milestones all in one place. Create a list of goals, goals for the day and use it to focus on completing tasks in hand. Manage tasks and schedules at one place with food, singing, singing. No. Okay. That, that's a sponsor. <laughs> that's a sponsor. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, multitasking. Two. Number two, multitasking. Trying to do two things at a time can never be as effective as concentrating on a single task. If you're multitasking, you don't have a clear focus on the you might not even realize that you are taking extra stress by trying to do more than what you can handle. No matter how good you think you are at multitasking, remember that it's not a good thing. Some that it's not good, not a good thing. Some people are tempted to multitask while working from home because their managers or co can't see what they are doing. They might jo juggle multiple project tasks or help their kids with homework while working from home. I'm going to, to read all the number two. Relax. Give yourself a break and take life one step at a time. Here's how you can solve this. Avoid multitasking. As this, keep separate time, time for personal activities. Just because no one is watching should not mean you are missing your work. Time with personal activities. Also, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Are you finished? Yes, teacher, we finished. Okay, Andres, can you share with me some of the bad habits uh, that people usually have? Uh, it said that maybe some people can work in the bed and they can have distraction, distraction with the kids and it's not the same like work on the site mm -hmm. because maybe you can have supervisor mm -hmm. and at home you don't have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And what about yourself? What do you prefer? Uh, I, I don't have choice because I always work on site. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Have you yes. ever, have you ever worked from home? No, never. Okay. Never. Would you like to? Uh, is it something that catches your attention? Or maybe something that you would like to do? No, because I I always work on site, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't I don't I like to work on site. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are you are used to it. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see, uh, Jarvin, what are some of the bad habits that you noticed? Okay, I was reading and for me it was interesting because it's a bad habit is multitasking. Mm -hmm. Because you have to be focused on one thing that you have to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is a problem that I had when I was doing some activity. Mm -hmm. I was thinking in another thing and lost my, my concentration. concentration. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. 
All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right there. Uh, we're going to stay with Fernando. Today, it is your turn to stay 10 minutes after the class. Everybody else, we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Enjoy, enjoy your Good night. evening. Enjoy your evening. Hello, Fernando. Hello. Do you work from home or do you work on site? Uh, I work on site. Uh, my in my previous job, I I was working from from home. But uh, you, you know, when you got, got get a, a new opportunity, it is better. You have to to do sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you prefer? Do you prefer working from home or do you prefer on site? Uh, I prefer at home uh, in my case because the uh, my my work uh, you can in, in my job you can do the same in in everywhere. <laughs> so I you prefer have, at you home. have an awesome job. You have I think that your job is like the best. Uh, you only have a computer and internet and you have all to, to do it you can be at the beach looking at yes. the water yes. working relaxing uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I would like the, the the company that I am working uh, <laughs> uh, tell us for example uh, we uh, uh, we only we will only have we will have only three days on site on site and maybe two remote. But the, mm -hmm. the buses uh, uh, don't don't like that because they uh, had bad experience about it. Oh really? What what happened? Yes, uh, in pandemic. I I don't know. I have only eight months in that company, but they mentioned something like the. In, in pandemic, the, the employees during during uh, the during made the, the job whilst uh, maybe the, the uh, that is the, the the experience of the bosses. They said they said really, but really. I don't know what what was. And what about yourself? Let, let let me ask you about yourself. Do you consider that you can work from home and still? perform the same yes i was uh, in pandemic uh, my previous job uh, we we was working at home we for, was uh, or we were we were we were working from home for uh, uh from 2020 to well I, I changed my my job position at july uh the last year at july or in july in July, um, uh, the, the, the year and a half that we were working from home, uh, we we have a we had a, a schedule, but uh, your first goal is uh, deliver on time. Mm -hmm. Your, uh, for example, the, uh, every six months, uh, we planning uh, for. The, for each month, for example, you uh, in on development there are many uh, methodologies to to planning mm -hmm, to plan mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. to do planning. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. uh, for example, every every month uh, I have to to deliver a, a prototype of a specific feature or the, that that is my my planning. So I have. Eight, eight hours a day, but mm -hmm. if I finish, uh, for example, the, 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 the work of the day in four hours, that is on me. It's mm -hmm. my time. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, my schedule w uh, was from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., but mm -hmm. maybe uh, I, I took breakfast at 8 a.m. and I spent one hour and after four, that, that is the, the end of my, my schedule every day. 
Mm -hmm. after 4 p.m. Maybe I recovered that that I were spent spending. Mm. Ah, nice, before. nice, nice. Uh, that that was on me. Um, mm -hmm. uh, today I am, I have to to be on site and it's very different. Mm -hmm. That was uh, what half uh, used to mm -hmm. to. I I was no, I used to be on home and today I had to fly every day to the to the to to, to my job. Um, mm. the how long? Is how, how long does it normally take uh, for you to drive home? At morning is uh, twenty or thirty thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. But be because I, I, uh, I got to job early after, uh, before six a.m. for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in that in that hour, the traffic is uh, it's less, more mm -hmm. less. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the afternoon, I had to to, to uh, bring my my wife mm -hmm. from job. Mm -hmm. And we spend almost one and a half uh, hour or two hours. For example, the, today was horrible. Uh, two hours, two hours from uh, I I don't know if you you know. Yes, all now it's about the mundo. Uh huh. I live close. Close. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, to uh, Culver Constitución, two hours. What? Wow. And, from, uh, from Salvador del Mundo to La Chulona. Yes, more, more or less. What? Almost two hours because we uh, we were driving from uh, 25 Avenida Norte, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. 75 Avenida Norte. Uh -huh. uh, all the, how do you say, semáforo? Traffic lights. All the traffic lights and all the, all the people trying to incorporate to this that oh, wow. a mark, a mark what, what what time at what time at uh, 7 and 3 p.m oh 7 7 p.m oh okay 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 no no fix five in the in, in the half p.m oh wow five. that was sorry about it maybe i uh i don't remember <laughs> and where do you live i live near uh, walmart Ah, okay, okay. Uh, near La Gloria. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. That's nice. It's a nice area. Um, in my case, I work uh, from home. I only go to the to Inglés Corporativo in the morning because I have a class, but the class is not online. The mm. class is uh, face, fa face to face is it's better it's better that is better <laughs> yeah i i think that it's better because you know in the morning time you feel fresh you feel energetic uh, in my case the, that's that's how i feel you know i, I take a shower I, I put on my suit my tie you know i have a coffee and i'm ready to go uh, but in this time uh, at night uh, at this hour it's like you know your brain your energy uh, your feeling you know it's more like yes. right so it's 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 very difficult to to yeah, work that, that is a part where, where i i miss i miss uh what on, on my at home yeah yeah but uh <laughs> i want to to get a better position so mm -hmm. i have to to do sacrifice so english is going to give you a better position is that correct uh, that is my that is my goal uh, uh for example if i i work for for a USA company, uh, I can duplicate or more, more my, my salary, for example. That mm -hmm. is one of my, my biggest goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
that is because I am trying to to, to learn English. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that that's probably the the biggest motivator for everybody uh, to learn English is to improve their financial situation. Yes, uh, uh, for example, maybe the knowledge that I have uh, until now, maybe I can I can get a, a better position in. But the English is a limiting for me. Well, I I consider that your English is pretty good. Um, I don't consider yourself to be uh, non-bilingual. Um, I think that you express your ideas very clearly. I understand what you say. I think that your pronunciation is very, very good. I, I know that you understand what I say because you respond to everything that I tell you. So I think that probably with a little bit of practice every day, practice, practice, you know, maybe if you could get a, a private uh, tutor um, only for you, uh, you know, just to practice every day, talking, talking, reading articles, conversating, conversating. Uh, I think that that's going to help you. Um, I have, uh, I told you that I had the a channel, I had a, a website and I was blocked. Uh, and that's what I was doing. I was teaching people in the United States. I had um, a lady, uh, this lady was going to get her citizenship. So she needed classes to for the interview. So every day we use the inter sorry the interview for for get a, a citizen the, is the, a, it's in English. Yes, yes. Uh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, it's in English. They ask you questions about the United States, the politics, the history, the government. Uh, they ask, they talk to you about the Constitution the national anthem, the flag, the presidents. It's crazy. <laughs> yes, because uh, in a fact, you, you will, uh, you would be a, a United States citizen. Yeah, yeah she did. Be. She, she got it. She got uh, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. All right. We're going to stop right here. Fernando. Good night. Good Thank night. You. And continue, uh, continue. You are doing very good. Thank you for your paper. Thank you. Take care. Good night.